Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to show you, instead of an experiment, I'm going to show you how to make banana bread. Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have half a cup of margarine that you're going to cut up into squares and you're going to put them into a bowl. Right, so that's half a cup of margarine that you're going to put into your bowl. What you're then going to do is you then need half a cup of sugar so I'm going to measure out half a cup of sugar okay like that right so now we've got half a cup of sugar I'm going to pour that into the bowl and then we are going to mix it with the beaters just to cream the marge and the sugar together. Okay, so once they are creamed together, it's going to form a mixture like that. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to put in two large eggs into the bowl. Be careful that the shells don't go in as well. Right, so two large eggs. And then we need one teaspoon of vanilla essence. So we're going to put one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, one teaspoon. Right, then we're going to make sure that that is mixed nicely in that bowl. So we're going to everything into the bowl so that it's all mixed together okay then we're going to put that bowl to one side we're going to take a fresh clean bowl then we need four ripe overripe bananas okay so we're going to peel the bananas we're going to put them into the bowl And then we are going to mash the bananas so that they are all nicely mashed up and squashed. Okay. Right, so you can see all the bananas are nice and squashed up. You can use a fork to squash these up all nicely. Okay, now we're going to bring our bowl back that has the original mixture in and you're going to add in squashed bananas. Like that. Alright. And we're just going to give it a stir to mix it in all. Okay, so now we've mixed all the ingredients together with the bananas and everything like that. Now we've got to put in the final ingredients. Okay, so the next thing we need is two cups of flour. So we're going to take flour. Make sure that it's a nice level cup in your cup. I'm going to put in two cups. Make sure it's two flat level cups of flour. And you can stir that in nicely. Be careful that it doesn't flick over the side of the bowl. So we just stir that in nicely. Like that. Until it's almost in. Okay. Right. Then, after that, we're going to need two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. 
So also when we do it work with the baking powder, it's level teaspoons. We need one, two. Then we need half a teaspoon of salt. So half a teaspoon of salt. And then we need a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarb. So a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarb. Then the last thing that we need to add is we need three quarters of a cup of milk. So here I have one quarter of a cup, so I'm going to put three of these into our mixture. One, two, three. Right. And now we're going to give it the final stirs to complete the mixture. Make sure that all the flour and everything is nicely mixed in so that you can't see any of the flour or baking powder or anything, any of the white powder left. Right, so when you're mixing you'll see the mixture is all nice and mixed. Right, once that is done, that is all mixed beautifully, then you are going to get a banana loaf tin, right? And you're going to spray it with your spraying cook to ensure that it doesn't stick to the tin. All right, so I've already put spraying cook on this tin, all right? So then what you're gonna do, put your tin and pour the mixture into the tin, all right? You can either make one big loaf, or if you'd like to, you can pour this in this mixture into two smaller loaf tins to make two smaller banana breads. Okay, so we're gonna pour the mixture in. I'm gonna make sure that it's all smoothed out. All right. And then we are going to put it into the oven for 45 minutes. And then when we take it out, it will be a beautiful banana loaf. Right, so I will be back soon, as soon as it has baked, and then I can show you the finished product. Okay, so just one last thing I wanted to tell you before um, I popped it into the oven. The oven is at 180 degrees, and you need it to bake it for 45 minutes to an hour, depending if it is the small loaves or the big loaf. So if it's a big loaf like I have done, then it will take an hour. If you have divided it into two smaller loaves, then it will be 45 minutes each. So while we're waiting for it to bake, I'm going to clean the kitchen, and I will see you just now. And welcome back boys and girls and so the hour has passed and I have just taken out the banana loaf from the oven okay so once it has cooled for a little bit into the in the tin then you can take it out and you can put it on the wire rack so that it can fully cool before you are able to enjoy it so I hope you enjoyed the recipe um, I will post the recipe on the Facebook page so that moms and dads can download it if you would like to try it. I hope you enjoyed the recipe and give it a try soon. Bye bye!